consider the coordinate axis O x and O y in a plane. With O as center, draw a circle of radius r. Let the terminal side of an acute angle theta intersect the circle at p x comma y. Draw perpendicular p n from p to O x. Then O n is the projection of O p on O x. Let O n is equal to x, n p is equal to y and O p is equal to r. Angle p o n is equal to theta. Angle p n o is equal to 90 degrees. Hence, triangle p n o is a right angle triangle. Trigonometry uh, deals with six ratios. We can derive that ratios using this figure. Sine of angle theta can be derived as the ratio of side opposite to theta by hypotenuse that is y by r. Cosine of the angle theta can be derived as the ratio of side adjacent to theta by hypotenuse that is x by r. Tangent of the angle theta can be derived as the ratio of side opposite to theta by side adjacent to theta that is y by x. Cosecant of angle theta can be derived as the ratio of hypotenuse by side opposite to angle theta. Secant of angle theta can be derived as the ratio of hypotenuse by side adjacent to angle theta that is r by x. Cotangent of angle theta can be derived as the ratio of side adjacent to angle theta by side opposite to angle theta that is x by y. In the previous animations cosecant theta is the reciprocal of sin theta since sin theta multiplied by cosecant theta equals y divided by r multiplied by r divided by y equals 1 and vice versa. Similarly, the other two ratios that is the secant theta and cot theta are the reciprocal of cos theta and tan theta and all the six trigonometric ratios represent the ratios of the side of a right angled triangle. They are all real numbers. These ratios are independent of the length of the radius vector OP and they depend only on the magnitude or measure of the angle. The six trigonometric ratios are meaningful only when they are associated with an angle theta.